tried to destroy my world! No, that means I'll have to leave. Lately, I've been, I've been thinking. I want you to be happier. I want you to be happier. Hey, what is good, everyone? It is your boy Ken Chara Zico Samadu. Welcome to a new video on my channel. Today's video, I love Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, it's actually one of the greatest anime games of all time. Like, honestly, in my personal opinion, it's actually stands one of the greatest anime games. It's actually one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I've been having such a good time playing with this game, mostly with my friends, doing videos with it. And honestly, there's only one question that I've been wondering about. Like, there's actually one question that I've been wondering since that Master Roshi came out. What are the two characters for the season three? Now, like, honestly, that's what I've been wondering because there's still a couple of characters that are still missing Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT as well because there's still some couple of characters that are missing. And they should, and they're probably gonna have to be a season four. So don't worry, season three is not the last season for this Dragon Ball Fighters because developers are still planning to bring more DLCs into the future of Dragon Ball Fighters and into the PS5. I don't know. But there's still some couple of so there's, still some, there's still some couple of characters that are still missing. So today I'm just gonna have to give my thoughts of what character is to come or might come into the season three. And that's just gonna have to give five top of character that I want in Ball Fighters. And by the way, this is just my opinion. It's not confirmed or anything else, but they just my opinion. So anyway just please do not take this seriously just my opinion but anyway let's get started number one kaba so having kaba as a playable character in dragon ball fighters would be awesome because he's actually one of the strongest warriors on universe sips and honestly like they missing my boy kaba i just have a feeling they missing my boy kaba because they act kefla why not put my boy kaba into dragon ball fighters i mean he'll probably get about to have some extent combos or some strong combos. I don't know how these combos gonna like to be look like, but he'll apparently has supers that reference the anime and on the manga as well. And honestly, he'll probably gonna want to fight his uh his Super Saiyan transformation all the time, and he'll have his Super Saiyan 2 for an ultimate attack. And just think about it, like he unlocks his Super Saiyan 2 in the term of power when he broke his limits. And honestly, having him as a playable character and bringing all his transformation into fighters would be awesome i mean just think about it i wonder how his intro will play out probably he'll transform into a first super saiyan 1 and he'll have a uh, super saiyan 2 as a ultimate attack just kind of like a part of combo so uh, i don't know how his combo will look like but i'm just saying having kawa as a playable character would be awesome so anyway let's get to the second one number two super android 13 Having this man as a playable character in Dragon Ball Super or uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, it would be awesome. Because his combos will be like a heavy character. This man will probably be a, like a heavy character because Super Android 13 is actually one of the dangerous and the most powerful androids that I ever saw in the movie. And honestly, like the the Sea Fighter had a hard time defending this man. And this man will have super armor if I'm not mistaken. He'll have grab moves. And he'll have awesome combos that is referenced from the movie as well. And honestly, like, having this man as a playable character would be awesome. If they plan to bring this character into Dragon Ball Fighters, they need to bring another dramatic finish. You know when Goku used a, a spirit bomb and then he used the spirit bomb in order to kill 13. That would be awesome if they brought up into Dragon Ball Fighters. I wonder what mask would they shoot with it. Like, I don't know how, how the dramatic finish will be placed on. I don't know where. But having this man as a playable character would be awesome. I, mean, I imagine if this man was in online. So if this man comes, you better hold on to your nuts because he's coming for you. <laughs> nah, just nah, just kidding. Let's get to the to the third one. Number three, Majin Vegeta. So yeah, I know there's so many variations of Vegeta, but let's be honest, we got base form Goku, we got Super Saiyan Goku, we got Blue Goku, we got Goku Black, wait does Goku Black count as a character? I don't know. We got GT Goku, and we got UI Goku, 
But having Majin Vegeta as a playable character would be awesome because Majin Vegeta is actually one of the most uh, iconic characters around the series. Like honestly, uh, the design is actually amazing and cool. Like this is actually like the evil Vegeta, the evil real version of Vegeta. And his combos will be different from Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan uh, all the Vegeta variation. His combo will be, will be different because he, his combos will probably represent some of the fights that Goku and Vegeta had it before. And honestly, having Majin Vegeta as a player will never do would be awesome. He'll have some different super moves that he use on Majin Buu. And his ultimate will be like the final explosion. And honestly, having the final explosion as a uh, as, as in Dragon Ball Fighters would be awesome. But if they plan to bring Majin Vegeta, they need to bring another dramatic finish. Like Vegeta deserves a dramatic finish if they bring Majin Vegeta. Like he used the final explosion on Majin Buu and disintegrates him completely. And Vegeta ends up being the victor. And honestly, that would be awesome if you think about it. Uh, they might add him on the next season. I do not know. I'm not so very sure. It's just my personal opinion. But having Boundary Vegeta as a player with Carol would be awesome. So, anyway, let's get right into number four. Number four, Moro. And, I, okay, I'm about to come clean. I haven't read the manga. I haven't, like, read the manga, to be honest. But having Moro as a player with Carol like the Fighters would be awesome. And I haven't read the manga because I did not want to get spoiled when the anime comes out. And honestly, He's actually one of the, uh, I think this man is actually one of the greatest, uh, villain of all time. I just only saw some couple of images, and if I had to guess which one would be the best moral, I think his final form is last me. Having that as a playable character, his combo will be representing mostly about the manga. His ultimate will represent the manga as well. But after the anime comes, I don't think Moro will be playable in Fighters. I don't think that's possible. But when the anime comes, this man will be a DLC for Fighters, if you ask me. So, I'm just saying, this man will not come. And I haven't read the manga, I'm sorry, I apologize. But he'll represent, some of his combo will represent the manga mostly. And right now, let's get to number 5. I, I'm sorry if I make the video short, uh, the part shorter for Moro. I will apologize. I just haven't read the manga, okay? But anyway, let's get to number five. Number five, Super Baby Vegeta. So having Baby Vegeta as a playable character in Dragon Ball Fighters would be awesome. Send that we got GT Goku into Dragon Ball Fighters. Why not add my boy, uh, Baby? Why not add my boy Baby into Dragon Ball Fighters? Like, his combo will represent some of the episodes of the anime of Dragon Ball GT, as well as in the manga. So, I was thinking how, how his super will turn out, like honestly, if I had to guess which one would be the best for Baby, I would say Super Baby Vegeta, like he's actually one of the best, the, the best forms of all time, and I don't think like they not gonna about to add the golden form, uh, the golden great ape form into, into Dragon Ball Fighter. I don't think so because it would be like, I don't know, it would be, take a lot of work. But of course, having Baby Super Baby Vegeta as a playable character would be awesome. Like, honestly, uh, I know some of his uh, some of his combo would be different from any other character. He'll have his stank combo as well, if I'm not mistaken. So, but having Baby Vegeta as a playable character would be awesome. So, the Revenge Death Ball, that's my question. How will it play out? Probably he'll be look like the Spirit Dark Bomb, like the Spirit Bomb, but darker and very, very darker. And I wonder how that ultimately will play out. It's not like, it will look like a screw bomb, but will it, will it be bigger or faster? I, I don't know how it will play out, but I guess we'll just have to wait how, how the developers will work on Baby Vegeta. But anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So leave a comment down below what character you think they might bring to the Season 3. And of course, there's going to be a Season 4 for the future of Dragon Ball Fighters. But leave your comments down below what character you think they might bring into Dragon Ball Fighters. I would highly appreciate it. Leave your comments down below. I would highly appreciate it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button for your boy. Subscribe to the Angel SD Go so my turn on notification. And stay always powerful, my boy. So thank you for watching. Peace.